Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on area and perimeter of similar figures. Our objective is to find the relationship between perimeters and areas of similar figures. And what we'll learn, scan the lesson, predict two things you will learn about the perimeter and area of similar figures. Well, one thing that we'll hopefully learn today is that the perimeter of similar figures are related by the scale factor And hopefully we'll also learn that the areas of similar figures are related by the square. of the scale factor. Now for our real world link, four square is a ball game played on a hard surface. The court is a 16 foot by 16 foot square divided into four equal squares. Question one. Use the figure to draw a four square court. Divide each side in half. Draw lines to divide the court into four equal squares. Okay, so let's do that now. We'll go in half right about here. And then we'll come down right about here and have pretty close to four equal squares. Is each smaller square similar or congruent to the larger square. Well, if we look at the lengths of the sides of the larger square, a length of a side of the square is from here to here. But each one of these little squares is only maybe about half of that. So what we can say is that they are similar. They're certainly not congruent. They're not equal. The length of each side of the smaller square is half the length of each side of the larger square. And when we're asked what is the perimeter of the larger square drawn above, If we were to measure with the ruler, this side length here is three centimeters. And so three centimeters times four gets us 12 centimeters. And if we were to measure this side of the smaller square, we would get one and a half centimeters for that. And if we were to multiply that by four for all four sides, we would get six centimeters. Hmm. How is the perimeter of one of the smaller squares related to the perimeter of the larger scale or larger square and the scale factor? Well, it is the perimeter.
of the larger square which in this case was 12 times the scale factor and that scale factor we cut it in half and that equaled the perimeter of the smaller square. which was 6. Now our key concept, perimeter and area of similar figures. For perimeter, if figure B is similar to figure A by a scale factor, then the perimeter of B is equal to the perimeter of A times the scale factor. In the previous question, the scale factor was one half, and so the perimeter of the smaller square was one half the perimeter of the larger square. Now for area, if figure B is similar to figure A by a scale factor, then the area of B is equal to the area of A times the square of the scale factor. And we'll get into examples of this in a moment. In similar figures, the perimeters are related by a scale factor k. What about area? The area of one similar figure is equal to the area of the other similar figure times the square of the scale factor, or k squared. In our first guided example, two rectangles are similar. One has a length of 6 inches and a perimeter of 24 inches. The other has a length of 7 inches. What is the perimeter of this rectangle? Well, the scale factor is 7 sixths. And how we can look at that, if we have two similar rectangles, we have one rectangle that has a length of 7. We have one rectangle that has a length of 6. So we can say that the scale factor is 7 sixths, since they're declared similar. Well then, the scale factor is 7 sixths, we multiply that by 24, and we get an answer of 28. So triangle LMN is similar to triangle PQR. If the perimeter of LMN is 64 meters, what is the perimeter of triangle PQR? Well, we're told the perimeter of LMN is 64 meters here. And we're going to find from 64 to the perimeter there. So the way we're going to write the scale factors, we'll start with the 18 and write that over the 24. Now, it's easier if we simplify that. So if we divide by 6 on top and bottom, we end up with 3 fourths. So our scale factor is 3 fourths. So now, to find our perimeter, we're going to take the 64 and multiply by 3 fourths. And we are allowed to cross simplify here. If we divide both the 64 and the 4 by 4, you get 16. So now to finish, x is going to equal 16 times 3, which is 48 meters. And that's my solution, 48 meters. Now, one thing you can also try to make sure you do here, you're going from a big triangle to a small triangle. So you should expect your answer to get smaller for the perimeter. And that's why we used a scale factor of 3 fourths instead of 4 thirds, because you should expect the answer to get smaller. And sure enough, we had 48 meters as our answer. Now in example two, in a scale drawing, the perimeter of the garden is 64 inches. 
The actual length of AB is 18 feet. What is the perimeter of the actual garden? In step one here, the actual length is proportional to the length of the drawing with the ratio 18 feet over 24 inches. So we want to find that scale factor. Well, to do so, we need to get our units to be the same. And so if we multiply by 12 for the 18, that turns this into 216 inches. And so we have 216 inches over 24 inches, which simplifies into 9 over 1. So the scale factor is 9 over 1, or just 9. Because now to find the perimeter of the actual garden, we'll take the perimeter of the scale garden, which is 64 in the drawing, times 9 to get 576 inches. And you could keep that answer that way, or you could divide by 12 to get 48 feet. Now let's try this on our own. Two quilting squares are shown. The scale factor is 3 to 2. What is the perimeter of square T U V W? Well, first we need to find the perimeter of L M N K. And all the sides are 4, so the perimeter of this is 4 times 4, which is 16. Then, if our scale factor is 3 over 2, what we can do is say, all right, the new perimeter, we'll just call it x, is going to equal that scale factor of 3 over 2 times 16. And that 16 can be written as 16 over 1. So when I cross simplify here, I get 1 and 8. And lastly, x equals 24 inches. And that's my answer for question B, 24 inches. My third example now. The Eddingtons have a 5 foot by 8 foot porch on the front of their house. They are building a similar porch on the back with double the dimensions. Find the area of the back porch. Well, double the dimensions means we're going to have a scale factor of 2. The area of the front porch is 5 times 8, which is 40. And the way we're going to do this now is we're going to take that scale factor and square it before we multiply by the original area. So 2 squared is 4, and 40 times 4 is 160. Now I think is a good time to take a step back or to the side and explain why we are squaring the scale factor when it comes to area. If we look at our original rectangle in this example, it was 8 by 5. And the area of that is 40. When I doubled those dimensions, when I multiplied by 2, that became a 16 by 10 rectangle. Well, the area of that is 160. Now, what if I multiplied by 3 from the original? Well, this would be 24 by 15. The area here is 360. Now how do these become squared? Well, the rectangles were times 2 times 3, the original dimensions. And so if I look at the original 40, and I multiply it by 2 squared, well that's 40 times 4 which is 160. And what if I look at my original 40, and I tripled it, so 3 squared. Well, that's 40 times 9, which is 360. And so by saying, all right, find your original area, and multiply it by whatever your scale factor squared is, it allows us to find areas more quickly without having to redraw the triangles and multiply the new dimensions. So now Malaya is painting a mural on her bedroom wall. The image she is reproducing is a 4 and 8 tenths inches by 7 and 2 tenths inches. 
If the dimensions of the mural are 10 times the dimensions of the image, find the area of the mural in square inches. Let's find the original area first. The original area is going to be the 4 and 8 tenths times the 7 and 2 tenths. And that product is 34 and 56 hundredths inches squared. And now to find the new area, we're going to take the 34 and 56 hundredths. And not just multiply it by the 10, but 10 squared. So this is going to be 34 and 56 hundredths times 100. And that is equal to 3,456 inches squared. So in summary, when you are looking to use a scale factor and perimeter, you simply multiply the original perimeter by the scale factor. When you're looking for area, you multiply the original area by the scale factor squared. I wonder if volume would be scale factor cubed. Hmm. That's it for this lesson on area and perimeter of similar figures. Good luck.